Hello, it's Andre there again. Uh, welcome to another video on my, on my channel. This year, it's 2022. We've now got the leopard moth in my area of Pretoria. And this is a serious problem. I'll show you what the damage looks like. The damage looks like this. Uh, as you can see, it's extremely destructive. The, the moth, uh, as you saw in the previous pictures, the moth lays eggs. It's a day-flying moth. It's not a butterfly, it's a moth. It's a day-flying moth. It lays eggs on soft new leaves. In fact, as you can see on one of the pictures, even just when the leaves are emerging, um, they haven't even opened or folded open yet. The moth is, is drawn to the leaves and they, and they lay eggs. Eh? The first instar worms or larvae, as the worm grows, we call it an instar, it sheds its old skin, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The first instar larvae start causing the damage on the new leaves. And it is astounding how quickly they grow and how extremely destructive they can be. So, uh, as, you, as I said, you saw that in the pictures before. So, I'm going to show you what I do. And uh, it's the first season that I've, that I've actually needed to control these things. So, I, I was told to try this. This is Blue Death. It's available in South Africa. It's got two active ingredients. One is a pyrethroid and one is a carbamate. Both of them are, um, are, are insecticides, effective insecticides. And I'm now going to show you what I do to, and at what stage, I, I sprinkle this stuff on the new, on new cycad leaves to keep these guys away. So let's move to the first plant. This, remember this is a, it is a poison, even though it's for insects and not for, for humans. I'm, I'm careful with this. It's a very fine powder. So, um, so I will wear a mask like this. We've all got these from COVID days. So I put on a mask and I'm going to show you, this is an Inopinus here that's pushing leaves now. Obviously we wait a long time for our leaves to, to emerge. So we don't want this to be damaged by, by the, the leopard moth larvae. So we're going to put our mask on like this. And I'm now going to just sprinkle this lightly, just like that. There we go. That's perfect. I'll show you now from closer what it looks like when I've sprinkled that. But remember, this stuff, um, it is also a repellent for the moth, the, for the adult moth. So what I've seen this season is that if you've got this, this uh, light dusting on your new leaves, the moth just passes by. So they do, they, 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 they smell the stuff or they sense it or something, but that is enough to keep them away. Let's go do another plant. It's that I actually start applying this when the when the leaves are very are very young or they're just emerging. Because as you saw in that one picture, those Aranaris leaves were just coming out and the moth had already laid eggs in. So this is an Atalensis here. And there you can see the leaves are emerging. So what I would do as of this point, there, that's enough. That's enough to protect them from the moth. But as of this point in the growth cycle of the new leaves, start applying the blue death. Now, I hope you can see this. Um, what I want to show you here, as I said, it's the first season that I've worked with this, but we had 10 mils of rain last night and I can still see the residue, the white residue on these oritus leaves, which are so soft by the way, from uh, my previous applications of the, the blue death on here. So I, I'm not yet quite sure you know how often one should apply the stuff but i would rather be safe but this plant is showing obviously no damage and uh, no larvae or anything on it and it's still showing us residues of the product that we sprinkled on here let's say about five six days ago so uh, i think this is still effective but i'm going to put more on here just to be sure I hope this video has helped you a bit. Uh, I haven't made a video for some time now, but this pest is becoming a reality here. I'm in the almost the central part of Pretoria, close to, close to Centurion. I know this mod started in the north where it's warmer, but it's here now and it's extremely destructive. Try this. The other product you can use apart from this is one called Carbo Dust, which is a carbamate. Same thing. Just sprinkle your plant lightly. I believe a dry application is better on your soft leaves than a wet application. So I would say sprinkle something like this instead of spraying 
with cypermethrin or chlorophenforce or whatever you can get out of it. Try this. It works for me. You don't want your pulse to get it. Have a good day. Cheers.